In this problem, we have a figure with a couple of different triangles in it, and we're being asked to solve for this side to find the length of EH. And first, it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. We can use the Pythagorean theorem on right triangles, and actually, in fact, I know this is a right triangle over here because this is a linear pair and one side is a right angle already, so the other side has to be 90 degrees as well. But we've only got one side length. We have this side, but we don't have either of the other two. So what am I going to do about that? Well, over here on the right, this larger triangle, we do have two sides. So I can solve for this side right here, and that's going to give me the side I need to be able to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle over here on the left. So let's do that first. Looking at this triangle on the right, uh, I could call this side A, and this side B, and this side C. And remember the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we're going to have a squared, that's what we're looking for, plus 63 squared equals 65 squared. Now these are going to be some big numbers. Let's see, 65 squared is 4,225. And 63 squared is 3,969. And then we have our a squared. All right, so first I want to get the a squared alone. I'm going to subtract 3,969 from both sides. And let's see, that is, ah, that's 256. That's a nice number. So I get a squared equals 256. And to solve for a, I take the square root of both sides. And we are going to get 16 over here, a nice, nice round number. So a is 16. So this side is 16. Now I set up a second equation over here. Um, the side I want to solve for EH, I'm going to call A. This is the hypotenuse here, so this is C. And B is my 16 side. So I'm going to say A squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared. And let's see, we know that 16 squared is 256 because we just did the math on that the other way. And 20 squared is 400. So now I need to subtract 256 from both sides. And it looks like we get, let me just move it over here, a squared equals 144. And then we'll take the square root to solve for a. And we get a equals 12. So I had to use the Pythagorean theorem twice there to solve eventually for one side. But we were able to get there. Um, you might have, after you found that this side was 16, you might have seen a shortcut, a possible shortcut here. Because if you divide each of the sides by 5, you would get sides 4 and 5. So you would know. Sorry, each of the sides by 4. You would get a 5 and a 4 side, and you would know this side would be the 3 side. So 3 times 4 would be 12. Might have been a shortcut that you saw, maybe not. Either way, using the Pythagorean theorem like this got us to the right answer.